What is the uh, electron configuration of chromium 3 plus? Uh, for this, I'm just going to grab a periodic table and do a bit of shrink and migration. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so chromium uh, sits here. And so um, we can figure out our electron configuration by running around the table. Um, remember that helium is really here. Um, and so we can just go right across. Remember that that's the S block. This is the P block and this is the D block. And down here is the F block and the F block inserts here. Okay, so we can run across the table. So we've got 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and 3D4. Okay, so once we've done this, we need to check because this is a case where um, we get half filled orbital stabilization. Um, and it really only comes into play with the D block because of how many it has. It might come into play with the P sometimes, but it's much more common the D block. So in this case, we can get a half filled orbital by moving one of these electrons, and so we will. Uh, five. And so that is so this is the electron configuration for our chromium. Now for chromium uh, 3 plus, um, as we remove electrons, we still remove electrons from our highest n orbitals first. Move for our highest n first. So that means uh, this guy goes first. So one. And then we need two more guns. So this five is going to turn into a three. So then we've got one s2, two s2, two p6, three s2, three p6. 3d3. And so then that is our electron configuration for chromium 3 plus. Um, okay, so checking the solution here. So they've uh, correctly noted that we get our half filled orbital stabilization for D. Um, but we don't pull the three electrons from just the d orbital, we take from our highest n first. So, um, and uh, so I'm just going to label this with our, what is the uh, argon? So should be uh, argon uh, 3d3. Uh, 